Welcome back to our third video in the CNC router build project. This video is an update video on our progress thus far. As you can see, the machine now has all of the cabling installed, all the electronics are set. We've got our airline installed for our debris nozzles. Okay, so our debris removal nozzles or blowout nozzles, we took and set those up, plumbed them with some brass fittings and we have a control valve over here that allows us to control the flow and then it feeds down to two nozzles down here and those can be positioned wherever you like. We took and ran the airline through our IGUS track and that travels out down and back through and that will go into underneath the table that we're building that's, that will house all the equipment and we'll plumb in an airline for that. A little closer look at the IGUS track there and how we mounted it. Made some custom brackets up here at the top out of aluminum and down over here just a small little angle bracket to mount the IGUS track. You can see we took in, with our steppers we had dual shaft and we installed some knobs on the end of it to allow for some adjustment by hand. We've got our auto clamps from Craig and we've also got our limit switch is installed. You can see the one limit switch on this side and then over on the other side we have a limit and a home switch installed and then underneath the platform we have our other limit switches and home switches. We've also got all of our software installed now. Let's take a look at some of the software that we have installed on here. Okay, we've got our software installed. As you can see, we've got we're running Mach 3 and we're running a custom version that's provided in the C and CNC install package for the Blade Runner. This is going to be our control software that's going to control the movement once we've created the G-code and another program. And uh, very little setup. Uh, the only couple things that we had to do um, on here were set up in the config menu and under motor tuning. We set up our steps per inch at 4,000, velocity at 250, acceleration at 50. That's for our X and Y. And for a Z, we went with 10,000 steps, 150 for velocity, and acceleration of 50. We also, in the config, ports and pins, input signals, we set up the X++, X++, those right there are going to be for our limit and home switches. We had to configure those and basically just enable them once they were wired in to the system. But otherwise, everything else comes pretty much set up and ready to run uh, with the master install for the Blade Runner program. One of the other programs that we installed on here is Sheet Cam. Sheet Cam is our 2.2D and up to 2.5D uh, software for our CAM program and it uh, works really well. We use it a lot on plasma for basic uh, cutting, uh, some small engraving. Basically you use this for most of my uh, 2D projects. We also installed Aspire 4.0 from Vetric and this software here is going to be what we're going to use for most of our 3D artwork, our engravings, and our CNC routing. We also installed Photo VCarve, another product from Vetric, and this allows us to take a JPEG image, or basically a, any type of a graphic image, and take and turn it into a, a photorealistic engraving on top of uh, whatever substrate we choose. Okay, so let's go back to Mach 3, and we're going to take and pull up 
and show some of our options that we have and show the machine running a little bit. Okay, we're going to show a little bit of this machine movement uh, using Mach 3 here. So we've got the spindle positioned about the middle of the table and now we're going to tell it to reference XY and I'll take and move over to the machine so we can take and watch it do the reference once I push that button. I don't know if you can hear the switches clicking on the home switches. We have the home and the limit switches stacked on both the front and the left side of the table and that allows us just to take up less room but the home activates before the limit switch has a chance to activate. If it keeps going past the home switch then it will take and activate the limit switch. So we use the reference XY so now that we have that established you can see on the display there we have zero for XY it's been referenced and now there's a load material button and you can set the load material location wherever you want on the table so when we take and tell it to load material the machine goes to the appropriate location which has been set up beforehand so in this case it was a Z height of 2 inches so it raised to 2 and then we have 14 by 14 is where it went to for our load material. And then we can have it come back and reference our XY again. You can see it slows down just before and makes a soft contact on there. Okay, so this is the third video, our update video on our progress this far. We'll have another video coming shortly. Make sure you take and watch the website, cncrouterbuild.com, for more information and updates. Thank you.